You're way too good for Nate. You know that, don't you? I suppose. The only thing you need is a bit of carry therapy. Yeah? What's that? Bottle of Voddy and my Power Ballad playlist. Yeah? Get smashed while you listen to Pow. Let it all out. You in? No. Nah. <sighs> it's Jacob. He won't leave me alone. I've got endless messages protesting his innocence. Why doesn't he just admit it? He's wasting his breath. No-one believes him. Well, I've still not got my keys back. He's either got them or he's ditched them somewhere. And either way, how, how am I supposed to relax? Well, I'll speak to Victoria, get the locks changed. There's no way you should feel like that in your own home. Oh, lucky as your mate. What do you want? Car's ready for pickup. Oh, you managed to pull out your finger to get the job done. Well, I'm almost impressed. Well, you know me, I live to serve. Especially for such a valued customer as yourself. What's their problem? Oh, unresolved sexual tension. <laughs> Anyways, what are you up to today? Oh, Noah's convinced me to go to the cafe with him and stick two fingers up at the world. Oh, good advice. Mm. Thank God for Noah. He's been brilliant, actually. Well, maybe he's not such a little weirdo after all. Who knew? You heard anything from Chloe today? She won't answer my calls. Probably because she's still really freaked out. I never touched the stupid journal. For all we know, she put it in my bag herself. Why would she do that? I don't know, attention maybe? Some people love playing the victim. There's only one person to blame for this, Jacob. And we all know it's you. <laughs> Chloe, I don't know what's going on with you, but you're turning everyone against me and I'm not having it. If you're that desperate for attention, go make up stories about someone else. Please tell me that wasn't for Chloe. She needed to be told. What the hell, Jacob? You can't talk to her like that. So what? I'm supposed to just take the blame and not say anything? Well, harassing her really isn't helping your defence. Harassment? You're hearing this? What's happened? How many times have you called us today? A few. How many? Six. But she's not picked up, all right, so I've left one voicemail. One. I love how quick you are to defend her. Yes, because I've been on the receiving end of this sort of thing. You really think I did it, don't you? I'm sorry, Jacob. I just, I don't know what to believe. If you're not desperate for attention, don't make up stories about someone else. It's well harsh. He is so not who I thought he was. I guess you never really know a person. You know me? Yeah, I do. You're a good friend. Are you sure you're all right? I will be. I mean... I let Nate mess me around. I was obviously kidding myself that we had any kind of future together, but I'm over it now. You get anything else? Um, no thanks. Tell you what, should we finish these and get out of here? You literally read my mind. I do not want to bump into anyone today. We can go over to mine if you want. No one's in all day. Yeah, perfect. So, what do you want to do? No, we could watch a film, listen to some music. I'm not really bothered, just as long as it's us two. I know you're still hurting after Nate. You can try and make out like you don't, but I see you. I can tell. Me and Nate had absolutely nothing in common. I mean, he was a complete opposite of you. I mean, he might be older, but it doesn't mean he's I say something? Yeah. Yeah, please stop me talking about myself. I've never met anyone like you. I've never been able to talk to anyone like I can talk to you. What? And I promise, I won't hurt you again. I know you won't. Great, well, grab a seat. I'll put some music on. Ooh, what song is he going to pick? Not that it's a test or anything. Uh, listen, I have great music test. Mm, I mean, so far so good, but we'll see. I don't, don't know what to try with first. Noah? Yeah? What are my keys doing here? Those are your horse? Yeah, but why is he here? Moses picked them up. Outside the cafe. He was playing with them. Wow, I can't believe they're actually yours. Why didn't you tell me that you found them? You know how freaked out I've been that mine have gone. 
Well, I just didn't put two and two together. But do you know what? Now I think about it, Jacob must have taken him when we were there with him. OK, so how did they get back outside the cafe? Once it was done looking through all your stuff, he put them back. Wanted to make it look like you dropped them or something. Look, don't overthink it too much. It's good news. Got your keys back. <laughs> yeah. I know it must be really strange knowing someone was in your room. But that's probably why your head's all over the place. Yeah, that... I'm sorry if I was being weird. I'm just... surprised. <laughs> Forget it. Apology accepted. Why don't you go put the music back on? Lighten the mood a little bit. Good idea. Coming right up. Thanks for having my back. Really means a lot. The journal was found in your bag. You can't be angry with people for thinking you might have something to do with it. I'm angry because no one's listening to me. Can you even imagine how Chloe must be feeling right now? Someone got into a room, went through her stuff and completely invaded her privacy. Yeah, it must be horrible. But having everyone think you're some creepy weirdo doesn't feel so great either. Whether you did it or not, she's still the victim in all of this and she needs to be heard, not attacked. Look, I know you've had people twisting things about you in the past, but so have I and it's happening again right now. Why is it always me who gets blamed? I don't deserve any of this. Come on, mate, don't get upset. How can I not? Yeah, maybe I could have handled the situation better. And I'll apologise to Chloe for the message, but I didn't do it, Vic. I swear on my life I didn't. Then that's enough for me. I'm sorry to doubt you, Jacob. It's just situations like this are a bit close to the bone for me. Right, the best way to clear your name is find out who actually did it. And there's only two other people it could be, Sarah or Noah. It makes no sense for Sarah to do it, so that just leaves one person. Noah. He's been sniffing around Chloe for ages and he's suddenly doing this big Mr. Sensitive act. I'm not buying it. You'll need proof. We'll get it. Noah's an idiot. He'll trip himself up eventually and when he does, I'll be ready for him. This is a classic. I didn't think you'd like it. <laughs> I have a whole place you are gonna love. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I wish we got some snacks. I'm starving. I can go to the shop. Would you? Yeah, what do you fancy? I mean, we've got identical taste in music, so why don't you see if it extends to chocolate? No pressure. No, none at all, but you better choose wisely. I'll be two minutes then. You just chill. Thank you.